hi guys welcome back in this video we will see how to apply union all and union using python pandas so here we are trying to use two set of data sets one is core sales data in 2007 other one is core sales data in 2008 so i have two set of data frames here and if you can have a look at here i have five records in 2007 with respect to the maker quantity and percentage of market share and i'm trying to take one more data set for 2008 data i have six records here right now we are going to be apply union all operation on these two data sets so how can we do that so initially we are trying to we are trying to pass those two data sets into one list right so here i'm trying to pass new data set new into one data frame call underscore sales by taking first data set and second data set right if you can execute this one the data will move on to the new list which is starting from if you can have a look at here call underscore sales and see here it is going to be start with the open bracket and closed bracket also the indexes are starting from 0 to 5 and the second one 0 to 6 and if you can have a look at here headers you can have a headers for the first data set and second data set right now we are going to be apply concat operation to make them exactly in, fit into tabular form. So how can we do that? So I'm going to be apply my concat operation on call underscore sales. Now just try to execute it and display our data. Now the two data sets are concatenated and placed into a single data frame. If you can have a look at here, the indexes are starting from 0 to 5 belongs to 2007 data and second indexes is starting from 0 to 6 belongs to 2008 data. Also, you can see some 2007 data also, you can ignore uh, for this time. So when there is a new data set here, that will start the index from 0 automatically. If you want to make the index should go in a sequence manner, you need to apply ignore index equal to true. So let's see that. To see that this is of my table form of the data. So I'm going to be re-executing my data to make into a list here. Now, so I'm going to apply ignore index on my new data set. So just do that. So here I'm trying to pass ignore index equal to true. If you can make ignore index equal to true, that will go ahead and increment your sequence in a sequential order even that is a new data frame right so in this way we apply our union all let's say for example if you want to make some keys here and if you want to know from where this 2007 data come from, came from and which data set this 2008 data came from if you want to make some indexes here you can make the index by applying key sum parameter to the Concat. So how can we do that exactly? So I'm trying to make in here. See here, if you can pass a keys parameter here. For the first data set, it will move on to 2007. And for the second data set, it will move on to 2008. So if you can pass whatever the keys here, let's say you can pass call underscore sales here. And this can make more sense while looking the data. Now, if you can execute this one, I'm trying to reapplying here and execute your data set. See here, it will go ahead and get your exact. This can indicate this particular data came from this particular data set. So if you, whatever the name you want, you can make it as index and you can pass those names for the keys parameter, right? So in this way, we'll go ahead and apply our index and we can apply keys for the union all, right? So I'm going to be uh, remodeling this one again. I'm not passing anything over here. I'm trying to remove it. And if you can execute this one, I do have some set of the 
data. This is my new data, right? So here I'm trying to apply ignore index a equal to true. And can execute this one. Let's see what I missed here, I'm sorry. Need to reapply here and try to reapply over here, right? Now, so if you can have a look at the data, I do have 2007 data for Skoda in the data set of 2018. Also, I do have a data record for 2007 Open is available in 2008 data set. So these are the duplicate records. So in the runtime, I would like to remove these two records. Is nothing but I have to remove the duplicate records, which is nothing but by applying union operation. So how can we do that union operation? To apply your union operation, you need to apply drop underscore duplicates function to the data frame. Right, this is my data frame. I'm trying to apply drop underscore duplicates. If you can apply drop underscore duplicates here and display your data and see here, I did not see those two extra records here. Those were the duplicate records. That's why they got removed. So this is how we can apply union all and union by using Python pandas. Thank you guys.